way to do everybody this is Courtney and I'm here to talk about charm yes it's been a minute since I did a recap review off of charm reboot 2018 you know what I'm saying I think I went through my videos and saw it like a month ago or whatever yeah it's been a minute um I had what happened I had like stopped having any interest in it or whatever my views were kind of low on it which you know it is whatever but i was planning on like playing catch up or whatnot so what happened it was uh uh like last week i was on tumblr and it showed this uh post on tumblr about charm because my main thing about charm was was they gonna whitewash the whole, uh, uh, you know, like, their culture. You know, the different girls' culture, because we got black, we got Latina, and all that stuff. Well, what's the magic going to be? Are they going to whitewash the magic in the motherfucking show? Like, are we going to have, you know, not just whatever weekend or whatever, you know, it's different magical paths. You know, we got Santeria, Voodoo, Hoodoo. We got uh, motherfucking Palo. We got, uh, 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 what else? Um, Voodoo. Uh, did I say Palo Saturia? Uh, and it's another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I can't think it right now. And all that stuff. You know, being that the cast is motherfucking multicultural and all that shit. Well, I saw a post on Tumblr, like I said, and they basically talking about Gavin. You know, Gavin is the big tall glass of chocolate milk. That is on motherfucking charmed and uh come find out he's Haitian on there and his mom you know put some good juju on him and all that stuff and they were breaking up uh that I think they was breaking up about um I think it's one in one of the latest episodes dealing with uh voodoo and all that stuff like that and I was like what and I said what I think it was like voodoo and um and some other some other motherfucking magical path. And so, that was other than, you know, just, you know, Wiccan or whatever. And I was like, oh, for real, y'all? Well, I might just go uh, give it back, give it another watch over and all that shit. Let me see, whatever. So, I'm, I'm watching it and all that. And I don't watch uh, the third episode. Now I'm on the fourth one. But this video right here just going to be basically a little... My thoughts on the third episode. It's not going to be a recap and all that stuff. I just did a one, one through. You know, a one through. So, we know the girl that was up in the coma from the uh, uh, from the uh, first one, or the second episode, kind of found out she got the harbinger of death in her. And so, basically, her judge is she likes to eat motherfucker virgin, virgin meat. And guess who's virgin? One of the sisters. And all that stuff. It's Macy. It's the pretty one. The tall, the black sister. And so, which I didn't know. But then, you know, like I was kept saying, like, I want to see some more about homegirl's background and shit. Macy, you know, what the fuck, you know, like, what family you know, the mom just chunked her aside and all that stuff. You know, what about the family that she was with? And so when um male is a male, the baby, I call her the baby one, the one that read minds. Um, the baby girl, she was like, you know, trying to do a party and all this stuff. Cause you know, her main thing is about that goddamn sorority and all this stuff. She a young please. She just trying to get in that fucking sorority. And so when she basically did a glamour a glamour spell on her and basically did a glamour spell on the whole fucking house and shit for the party and all that. And you know, Mel, uh, uh no, not Mel, Macy, you know, she was walking around through the motherfucking Halloween party and everything, dressed up like a, you know, what she said, Supreme Court Justice, the old, the old woman. The old woman that looked like she might need a nap and all that stuff. Huh. And um and so baby sister is like, you know, let's hook you up and everything, you know, cause you pretty, you need to dress, you need to be beautiful, uh, which she is, she is so fucking pretty. And so 
she basically, you know, they had, uh, the baby girl had, you know, had a dressing up like Lord Croft, and she like, no. And then, you know, basically came back like, you know, the sister had some kind of thing about being sexy. And, you know, like that she wasn't, that wasn't her judge, and she wasn't, you know, she was awkward in that type of way. And so, you know, uh, you know, the baby sister, like, you know, well, what's wrong? And she's like, I can tell you, you feel some kind of way about, you know, flaunting your attributes and you being sexy and shit. What's good? And so the girl said, I'm like, God damn, even her home life wasn't shit. The motherfucking daddy, her daddy chucked her ass to the motherfucking uh, boarding school when she was eight. Did she say eight years old? When she was a kid, I was like, I like for real, took this girl for real. And now I think of now if the mama known that, would she to uh, snatch her kid back? So you just chunk the child to a fucking boarding school. And then the girl, and then the girl said, when you the only, you one of two, of the only two motherfucking pieces of color in that whole school. Just think of that, y'all. Oh my goodness. I shudder to think, man. So she said her friend Tasha became the thought, was the thought friend. And Mel, and now I'm gonna keep calling her Mel. Macy says she's gonna be the motherfucking smart one. And I bet you money that Macy was prettier than Natasha. I bet you money. I bet you money. And I ain't saying that. And I'm not saying that due to the fact that she likes skin. I ain't saying that shit. I'm not saying that. But just think, and she said that was her friend. So. Oh my God, y'all! Just think. Now I wonder where she was growing up at before her dad decided he's gonna chunk her ass up into a motherfucking boarding school. That's a culture shock, I bet. Cause you know, folks gotta gotta realize that when you're used to a certain environment, and different environment have its own mythos, have its own culture. So, be it that I'm southern. And I'm born and raised Mississippi, uh, where I grew up at. I grew up in the hood. I grew up in the hood, but see, I don't know how it is in like different areas uh, all across the world. See, down, you know, like okay, I talked to like some kid folk out of California and all that stuff, and you know, uh, whether it's they don't like. Not really say projects, but you know, hoods be like houses, yards, and all that stuff and everything. Same thing here, but uh, you know, we had that. But other spots, the hood, the hood is ain't number projects. So motherfuckers ain't used to yards. Motherfuckers ain't used to this and everything. So regardless of being black or motherfucking people of color, hell, you bring a, a nigga that ain't used to houses or whatever and put him in a motherfucking environment where it is houses, where it is yards, where you can run outside and not worry about whatever. It's a culture shock regardless. So... I was just wondering, like, for that girl, what was the, I guess that just shook her to her fucking core. And now I'm mad. I want to know why her punk ass daddy sent her ass off. So, you know, it see that right there, that kind of, it del- it peels back layers off of her because she is not as, as affectionate as the other sisters. Now, you know, uh, 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 Maggie, ain't that the ain't that the middle middle one? Is it Maggie? I promise y'all, I'm gonna learn these names. I'm learning these names. I'm learning the uh, middle the middle girl. She, you know, she affectionate with her girlfriend and all that stuff and everything and all that. And you know, uh, baby girl, you know, they more closer. Baby girl, make sure to she put baby girl put an effort to bring Macy in more than the middle middle sister to me 
being that this is the third episode, and I, I still got a couple of more episodes to play catch up on. But to me, that's what I feel like. And it just, you know, that, that kind of, I just, you know, that kind of made, that pissed me off to being that she got chunked to a fucking board school when she was that young. But then it all falls back to what, we kind of find out she's the virgin. She's the virgin of the two sisters. Is she the oldest? She said she's 28. I think she is the oldest. She's 28. She ain't had sex. She a virgin. We all know baby girl getting it in. She got it in with her best friend who I want her to get back with. Because I don't like this This start. Okay. You see that she going to be uh patting after her whole, her pledge sister big girl in the uh, fucking sorority old, old man um, and we know motherfucking uh, middle sis you know she popped cooch with her girlfriend so ain't no virgin no virginity there and you know you just think like with the old like with uh, Macy her being in that school that new school new environment uh, she was the smart one she said her friend you know, basically what's the cute, sexy one, whatever like that. Like I said, okay, so the friend with the thought, she was the motherfucking nerd. Macy became the nerd. So, with Macy being the nerd, maybe, you know, Macy was her main thing with her books, school and all that stuff. She, hormones and first crushes and and yeah, yeah, this and yeah, yeah, that. And just like she said later on in that episode, third episode, she said that, uh, you know, she always, you know, wanted her first time be, you know, perfect. And, you know, the other sister said, that that's, that is not reality in the show. The fuck out, y'all. It ain't. And, you know, then she went on went on a little rant about, what is it, HPV, STDs, and all that shit. And I'm like, girl, yeah, listen, it ain't all, it ain't all what it's cracked up to be, baby. Mm-mm. But... I like the idea of her and Gavin. You know what I'm saying? I like I like the idea of her and Gavin. They they cute together. They both tall and shit. He's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. They can make it work. I I love the idea of them too. So you know she gonna have to let them know that she a virgin. You know you are gonna tell the motherfucker be gentle. Don't be gentle and stuff. So. I want to know more about Rupert. You know, uh, Rupert, you know, him and the middle sister, they bump heads and all that stuff. You know, uh, middle sister. I, what could I call her? Is she like the physical embodiment of a motherfucking film Nazi or some fucking shit? She like, you know, women in now, and I'm all for it too, you know what I'm saying? But... Good goddamn girl. I'll be like, I'll be wanting you to just dial it down a little bit. Just dial it down a little bit, bitch. Just a change. Just a change. Just a tinge. And so, I want to know more about him. Because he said that she reminded him of his last words of Fiona. And I'm like, hold up. What them all them other girls were? If Phoebe, Phoebe, and the uh, I say, wait a minute, is that them? No, see, that's F. That's F. That ain't P. Cause them P's, the first girls were P's and shit. That's a girl. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell he know? Huh? So, how do we know more about that? But. That's all I got. That's my little rant about this third episode. You know, I'm just glad that we know we learned more about the about Macy and all this stuff. We learned more about her, but now I'm getting mad because her daddy dish tag chunked her ass when she was a kid. I was like, God damn, this, it don't it don't get no better. It ain't getting any better. So her daddy wasn't shit either. I was like, God Jesus. So hopefully we get some uh you know the next episodes I'm a, I'm binge watching and so once I play catch up 
I ain't gonna do no recap or whatever. I'm just gonna little uh parts uh pieces of the episode that you know that that struck a chord with me. Then I talk about it until we get to latest episode. Then I start back with the recaps and all that stuff. All right, okay. <laughs>